Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this spring colorful flower bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks and by the way you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. I'm showing it really easy and step by step and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself if you have any question ask me anything in the comments. So if you like what I'm showing you here it's also a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. I will be so happy to have you as my viewer, my dear beading friends. You could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 ounce seed beads. Here I use 8 ounce beads and these are super dual beads or twin beads with two holes in red color. Uh, here I use a toggle clasp and two jump rings. And uh, this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers to attach my clasp to my work. Okay, so now I'm going to take about two feet of thread on my needle, which is about 60 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up on my needle is a red seed bead, a yellow ato, a red seed bead, a yellow ato. I will do this six times. Three, four, five and six. Now I have 12 beads in total on my needle that are six red and six yellow atos and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice with my tail thread through the loop I've made and I pull and I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all nice tight and secure. When I pull I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and now I will go in this direction and exit out of the next red bead. Okay now in my next step I'm picking up two yellows and as I'm exiting through this red one I'm going back in circle through it just like this. Then I'm going through the next ato and through the following red. Okay just like this. Now I need two yellow beads okay and as I'm exiting through this red one, I'm going back in circle through it. And if you can, in one movement, you could go through the next red as well. Okay, I'm pulling. Now I'm going to take two yellow beads again. And I will repeat the same thing. Okay, and now guys, I will continue this three more times. Okay guys, now I have this. And what I'm going to do next is go through this yellow bead in this direction. I'm exiting out of the red one, then I'm going through the yellow. And now guys, I'm going to continue by picking up one of these beautiful two hold super dual beads. Three green beads. And I'm going to slide those down just like this. 
and then I will go through the empty hole of the same super duo and through the following yellow bead. Okay, and I pull. Then I will go through the red one more time if I can. And then here through this yellow. If you go, can't go through the red, just go directly through the following yellow. Then I'm taking one super duo and three green beads as I showed you before. And I'm sliding this thing down. Then I'm going through the empty hole of the same super duo and through the following yellow. Okay, and I pull. Then I go through the red again or directly through the following yellow. And I take and I go out of this yellow. I will show you one more time slowly, okay? A super do three green beads slide all of those down go through the hole and through the next yellow and pull and now guys I will show you this three more times but faster Okay guys, and I just finished this row and what I want to do next is exit here through those beads and I also want to exit here through this red one. Okay, now I have this and I'm going to cut this tail thread here. Okay. So now guys, I have this, my thread is exiting out of this green one and what I want to do is make one more of those elements and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have two elements with my thread uh, not cut. I will show you how to connect them in a bracelet, okay? I will put this one aside for a while. Okay, I have this element and this is where I will start my bracelet from. That is why I'm going to pick up five of these beautiful yellow beads. Okay, I have here my five beads and as I'm exiting through this green one, what I'm going to do is go like this and reinforce this part where my clasp will be attached later. Okay, and now guys, I'm ready. And what I want to do here is make a knot and cut my thread. And how I'm making a knot, I'm making here a loop and I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull. Then I go through the following yellow bead and then I cut my thread. Okay guys, now this is what I have. And uh, I will take my other element, this one. And I will put my needle on it and I'll be back.
Okay, guys, and I have my second element here and I put my needle on it. And what I want to do is exit here at this green bead at the edge. Now I'm going to take my first element and I'm going to connect both elements together. Okay, how I do this, I take one yellow bead and as I'm exiting through this green, I'm going here at the opposite part of where my clasp will be attached and I go through this green one, just like this. Then I take one more yellow and I go back in circle through the same green bead. Just like this. And now I'm reinforcing this joint here. Now, what I want to do is go through this yellow and take three more yellow beads, okay, just like this. And I'm going back in circle through this yellow one. And now what I want to do is reinforce. Okay, now I will take three more yellows and I will make the same cross from this side. Okay. I'm making the same cross. Okay, like this. And now guys, what I want to do here is cut my thread, but before that I will make a knot. Okay, and I think here is a good place to make a knot. And here what I do is that I make a loop. I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull. And uh, you could do several more knots. And when you're ready, go through the following seed bead and then cut your thread. Okay, so now guys, I have these two elements attached. I will make one more element. I won't cut my thread and I will attach it to this one the same way I showed you here. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and you will see. So now I will continue adding more and more elements and when I have seven elements, I'll be back. Okay guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. Now I attached my last seventh element and you could do less or more whatever you like but i feel for my wrist seven is enough okay so i just uh, attached those two elements together and what i need to do next is go here in this direction at the other part of my work and make a loop Okay, and I'm here at this part and I will do what I did here from this side. I will pick up five yellow beads. Okay, I have here my five. I'm going back in circle through this green one. And 
and you could repeat this several times. And when you're ready, go here through this super do beat and make a loop and then go twice through this loop and pull, making a knot. Then go through the following seed beat if you want, repeat this knot several more times. And when you're ready, go through the following seed beat and cut your thread. Okay guys, now my bracelet is almost ready, but what I need to do is take my clasp and I will take also my jump ring. I will open this one up, go here inside and put my clasp. And then I will squeeze back in the same direction as I opened it and I will repeat this from the other side of my work. Okay guys, so now my bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way you will know when I make new tutorials usually two times a week and you will be inspired often and I will be so happy to have you as my viewer. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks and by the way you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips. And that was all from me, guys. Bye-bye.